for being here and we look forward to celebrating the accomplishments of these athletes today. I'm going to turn over the microphone to Mr. John Stone with the Kiwanis. Welcome, welcome to Special Olympics again. It's great to be here. Uh, the Kiwanis Club of Douglas County has been involved with the Special Olympics for 40 something years. So we're grateful that you're here today. We're going to get started in just a few minutes. We're going to have the presentation of the colors, uh, the national anthem and the Pledge of Allegiance. Well, first of all, I'm going to introduce the uh, color guard, which is coming to us from Chapel Hill High School. It's the Naval ROTC. It's on behalf of the Chapel Hill High School staff, Principal Kelly, Captain McMurtry, who is in charge of it, Sergeant Major Jordan, Chief Potter, it's a pleasure to introduce the Chapel Hill School Naval Junior ROTC Color Guard. The Color Guard today is commanded by Cadet Lieutenant Junior Grade Connor Hanley, uh, Cadet Lieutenant Junior Grade Emily Cacker, Cadet Third Class Petty Officer Mason Wood, and Cadet Seaman Apprentice Jezza Cage. Today's handler is Cadet Third Class Petty Officer Allison Egan. These cadets have devoted many hours to practice prior to today's presentation and were selected on the basis of their outstanding performance. It's a pleasure to have them with this. At this time, ladies and gentlemen, will you please rise for the presentation of our colors. Remain standing for the National Anthem and the Pledge of Allegiance. Singing our national anthem is to Laura, a student at Mason Creek Middle School. She is in Mrs. Osborne's class. She's a talented young lady, and we're blessed to have her share her talents with us today as she sings the national anthem. This was a great presentation. She has more courage than I do. I sure would have to have to come out here and sing before all of y'all today. At this time, we'll have the Pledge of Allegiance. Our Pledge of Allegiance is presented by Molden Richards, a client at Chapman. Will I say our pledge? Please do. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We appreciate the, the Chapel Hill High School Naval ROTC coming out and being involved in the presentations of the colors. Let's give them a big hand. Thank you. It's always a pleasure to be here to put, 
present this Special Olympics event. We also have a lot of other people who are very proud of the special athletes that are here today. I'm going to call on a few of them that will come and bring some well wishes to all of you uh, from different segments of our local community and the state of Georgia. So at this time, I'm going to introduce Mr. Chris Perkins. He is from the office of the U.S. Senator David Perdue. Chris? Good morning, all. Uh, Senator wishes he could be here and uh, wants to send greetings to all the athletes and participants. And uh, good luck today, okay? Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Chris. It's always good to hear from our U.S. Senator, and they're always very supportive in relationship to special ed and special ed's needs. At this time, I'm going to call on Captain Stauffer from the city of Douglasville to present and welcome you from the City of Douglas Police Department. Captain? Sir? Welcome everybody. Police Department, I'd like to say thank you to all the volunteers, the parents, and the teachers that helped to make this happen, and to all the athletes here today, good luck. Thank you. At this time, I'm going to call on the senior pastor from Central Baptist Church, Reverend Steve McFall to bring you a welcome from the minister of, of the local community at this time. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. As John said, I'm Pastor Steve McFall, and from all the churches from the Douglasville area, we say love, happiness, what is it? Love, peace, and happiness. Can we say that all together? Love, peace, and happiness. God bless you. Thank you, Brother Steve. It's always good to have the local uh, ministerial association and pastors involved in our event here today. At this time, I'm going to call on Tracy Rooker, a District 3rd Board Chairperson, to bring a welcome to you. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. On behalf of the Douglas County Board of Education, I just want to commend the students on the very hard work they've done to prepare for today and congratulate and celebrate the parents and, and teachers who support them. So let's go have a wonderful, safe event today, and good luck to all, everyone participating. Thank you. Thank you, Appreciate it. Appreciate you taking out the time of the day to come out here and welcome these students from the school board to see what actually takes place at Special Olympics. This time it gives me pleasure to introduce Sheriff Tim Pounds, Douglas County Sheriff. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. It's, I just want to appreciate y'all for even inviting me here. You know, some events you go to, you hate to go. But this one here give me cold chills, I love it. It's all about the children, ladies and gentlemen. It's all about our children. If we stay on top of that, we're going to have a great success here in Douglas County. Thank you all for inviting me. Thank you, Tim. We appreciate you coming out and bringing some members of the Douglas County Sheriff's Department to participate with the youth during this event today. At this time, I'm going to introduce Superintendent of Schools, Mr. Trent North. Good morning. I am so excited about today's event. I, I know you can't tell, but I'm very athletic and I enjoy competing. So I can't wait to watch you students showcase your talents. You're going to have fun and compete with one another. Just remember, we're here to have fun. But before I leave, students, can you all help me out? Do you have some awesome teachers working with you? So students, let's thank our teachers. Well, welcome, and to all of our partner, community partners, we say thank you and welcome as well. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Thank you, Superintendent Norris. It's always a great pleasure to see the head man out and supporting the teachers and the students and the volunteers of this great Special Olympics today. Okay, at this time I'm going to turn it, the program over to Jackie Chapman. Good 
Good morning, athletes. We have a very special presentation to make today. We have someone with us that has been um, competing in Special Olympics for 50 years. Ah, 50. Give her a big round of applause. This is Jenny Long. And we have a certificate to present to Jenny today that says, this certificate is presented to Jenny Long for 50 years of participation in Special Olympics. Presented this 10th day of April, 2018, by Douglas County Special Olympics. We have another group of people that we would like to um, thank today and to recognize. If the members of the Kiwanis can make their way up this way, we'd like to um, recognize them for over 50 years of support for Douglas County Special Olympics. Many years ago, we were looking for businesses to help buy t-shirts for Special Olympics, and I went to a man that owned a local business, and he got in touch with the Kiwanis, and they called and said we would be glad to do that. And that was a little over 40 years ago, and they've been supporting us every year since. So if you see one of these Kiwanis today, give them a great big hug. We'd like to present this to the Kiwanis Club of Douglas County for over 40 years of support and service to Douglas County Special Olympics. Thank you so much. The Kiwanis Club is an international service organization committed to children and communities. We want to give a special call out to our key clubs. There are five supported here in Douglas County in the public schools and especially the key club sponsors. Thank you for all you do making a difference in the community. Thank you, thank you. All right. Next we'll have students from Chestnut Log Middle School that will come and do the athlete's oath. John Coombs, Katrina Best Peoples, Malcolm Anderson, Kameen Guy, are all students from Chestnut Log Middle School and they will lead us in the athletes host. When they get up here, you will repeat after them. You got them? Get them all up here. It's good to have them come up and give their introduction and their athlete's oath. Everyone be aware of that. Okay, at this time, we're going to have the introduction for the athlete's torch run. Uh, there are students from Alexander High School. They're to my right. We'll stand for the torch run. Let's all stand and watch them. All right, at this time, we'll have the run. Let's go. It's a pleasure to see the young people run at this start to get this event started. Now we're going to get it officially started. Uh, Mr. North, Superintendent of the Schools, and Chloe Crow will be declaring the games. You ready, Miss Chloe? Yes. Ready? Yes. Now let the games begin. begin. 